hello we are going to be analyzing and designing this 26 floors hotel building complex with the observations to see if we will have some warnings that we usually encounter during the analysis and design of an high rise or top building of this kind and these warnings are number one the story draft limit warning and the axial load comparison warning if you check in the analysis tab right there we have that building analysis you can see the red cross right there showing that this project has not been analyzed all right so as we make progress i will also explain to us about the p data analysis which is found under the load cases and combinations you see here apply p data analysis we will also throw more light on that and as well i will also place a giveaway towards the end of this uh, presentation so stick to the video for a proper understanding and if there is a question you can drop it in the comment sections down below and always check the description of our video of all of our video you may see uh, some materials that you, you may interest to get in order to help your drawings uh, presentations and then give you more additional knowledge so let's start we will navigate to the analysis tab right there okay so this structure has been modeled and this is a full course okay i will leave the link of this course in the in the description of this video all right so if you check the description you see the link to this course so click on the building analysis right there so in the building analysis tab all right we get straight away to the analysis tab right there so over here at first we are supposed to cut out the building check all right to see that there is no error in the building okay but that has been done this structure that i've modeled has no error on it or warning like modeling warning so click on the building analysis right there so in the structure of this kind any RS structure you are designing okay do not design do not, do not analyze and design meaning you should, should not check these provisions okay don't check it because you check here it is going to analyze and as well design okay so you don't have to check these two provisions you just have to click on the building analysis so once you click on the building analysis the building analysis we start okay and having known that this is an high rise structure you should know the type of uh, computer capacity you are using for this kind of uh, uh, project otherwise your computer machine may crash because is it takes some time a very longer time to carry out the analysis of this kind of massive uh, top building uh, project okay so i want to be telling you the recommended computer properties okay your laptop properties that you can be able to use and carry out the analysis and design of this kind of project successfully so minimum of four gig graphics laptop 4 gig graphics laptop at least you should have up to 12 gig uh, ram okay 12 gig ram all right these two property are the most important properties of a laptop that can be able to design an iris structure otherwise you can't you can stay under design analysis and design for a day and it will, it will be completed even when the analysis is completed you notice that some of the members will, will will not be designed meaning there is no smooth calculations of analysis of the structure because of the low memory of your laptop so this is very very important okay so i want to invite you to join the course to the link in the description of this video so you can as well learn how to 
properly model this structure because there is a way you model this structure you end up having some unnecessary warning from the from this program protein structure but if you model it the right way i tell you everything will be carried out successfully analysis and this is how we carry out successfully just as we are doing now okay see up to this point the analysis is in progress there is no warning all right there is no error as well so this course will teach you how to model properly model properly load properly load this kind of structure analyze design and then interact the uh, structural members for a good structural detailed drawings presentations that is what this course is for so the link is in the description of this video let us wait for this uh, analysis to be completed so i will take us to another st stage where you can't be able to optimize the structural element of an IRS structure but just as i said earlier the full course you can find it in the description of this video just click on the link there it take you to where you can't get into the course successfully all right so the analysis of the structure is completed and the time it took the program to analyze the structure is dependent on the type of system property you have and for this my laptop pro property it took 10 minutes 45 49 seconds 10 minutes 40, 49 seconds to analyze the project so it depends it depends how fast the processing speed of your laptop okay and just as you can see over here the analysis summary report the uh, relative story draft limit okay is is as past uh, okay as past the uh, requirement as you can see right there for both directions successfully so these are the things that i i want to show you okay so this course we actually teach you how to model load analysis and design an IRS structure of any numbers of story using this program product structure successfully okay so we wouldn't have any uh story limit issue we didn't have any load uh, actual load comparisons warning issue in the process all right so click on the okay options and it will be taking us automatically to the analytical model so i'll close this dialog that's why close this dialog so here is the analytical model of the structure so successfully okay so after you have done the analysis successfully the next thing you do is to carry out the optimizations of the member as we design the members successfully okay so let's look at that quickly all right so if i click in the story right there to get back to the physical model which is over here the visual analysis is now having green check right there and not a red cross because the analysis of this structure is being done successfully so i want to also be explain that in a project of this kind IRS structure you should start your uh, design from the first floor start your design from the first floor like the structural members the columns the beams should start from this first floor and then you take it up to the last floor successfully actually i work uh, in a civil structural engineering consultancy company okay so if you have issue with your uh, project you can as well consult me all right the link in the description of this video and i will attend to you all right if uh, you meet the requirement all right so now we will look at designing the uh structural element the column basically uh at the first floor so uh, you will navigate to move the grid lines to the first floor right there okay so i uh, will get to the beam right there sorry the column at first right click and then I will use options and see columns slash one design active story. So yeah, I'll maximize this. All right. So if you see the column sections I'm having here, I have 1000 by 1000 column sections right there. Okay. But this has not been designed, so you wouldn't know whether it, it has passed or not. Click on the column design bash mode. So I will check result or bars. Click on calculate. All right. So in a few seconds, we have about 49 numbers of uh, reinforced concrete columns to be 
you know, design successfully, including the walls. All right. Okay, click on the close options. Alright, so to have some of these designs successfully, so you can see some at fail and then some at design. Alright, some of these ones are fail. Okay, so now you have to cut out the interactive design. So have column 1C1. Okay, well, column 1C1 has passed. Okay, we use we use ratio of 0 0.56. Alright, so if I should click on this uh, interactive design, so here is what I have. So I click on the OK options. Looking at the U ratio, I can reduce the sections. Okay, because the U ratio is 0 0.56. 5.6 which is far less than 1 okay far less than 1 so I can take it to maybe 0 0.8 right there by reducing the sections of this uh, particular uh, columns and this is 1 meter by 1 meter for 26 floors all right so this is giving us these sections okay so you can also present the sections in a rectangular uh, format instead of a uh, instead of in a uh, square format because it's a square sections right there okay so you can present it all is being explained in the course successfully all right so you have to go through all of this column to make sure they have all passed the design okay so you can see over here design statute all right so once the all columns are the first floor as part design you will now have to proceed to the second floor so this is going to take uh, your time okay so you have to just scan down and make sure you carry out this process successfully during you are designing an high rise uh, structure of this kind okay so we have already gotten the course uploaded on our website successfully so you can get the course through our website right here softreasons.com right Francis floor store building modeling loading analysis and design slash path foundation design right yeah so if you get this course you will have a very in-depth knowledge of this software because we explain a lot of things in this software including p data analysis successfully all right and also if you come to the bookshop right there there is a, a book i want to recommend in respect to more understanding on top building design so in the bookshop tab you can as well see some of the important uh, books okay that can actually uh helps you but the one i'm recommending for you is the top building design okay steel concrete and composite system okay so this book is basically for top building so you can get this and as well you can get this elementary structural analysis and design of building if uh actually you are just uh, starting all right you are just starting okay but if you want to have more idea on top building design you have to get this all right this will actually help you the links to this it will be in the descriptions of this uh, video successfully okay so don't forget to drop your questions in the descriptions of the video if there's any all right thank you for staying to the presentation stay safe stay connected see you in the next presentations in case of any personal training please you can inbox us okay we will have a live training with you to train you on the software's programs how to use them successfully all right Thank you once again and bye for now.